Look at all those X9s. Labrador early Sunday. Canadians made about six times more trips in July than a year earlier. But Statistics Canada says that number was still below pre-pandemic. Hey everybody. Well, today is the September 23rd, I believe. It is windy today. I didn't put my camera straight. And it's cold. As soon as the sun goes down, it's freezing. So, uh, kind of a kind of a late start today well we had to well we were supposed to dump the trucks because it rained I don't even remember I should go back and look at what I was filming but we were right in this area or right where the bales end and it started raining and it poured like an inch and a half here so we were down for a few days but it dried out like crazy again uh, weeds dry again uh, that's all we got left is what you see up to those trees there, just a little bit on the other side. But I came here and for some reason my sediment bowl on uh, my 770 case uh, broke. I don't know when or what, but it actually broke when we, were, when we weren't here. And all the diesel leaked out of the tank. So I went to the store in Valley, uh, kind of like an agricultural industrial store. They had some used ones there from, from cases. They even still had the orange paint on it. Not too much can go in here. Exhaust feels good. So as soon as this truck is full, I'll take it. But. So in the meantime, we couldn't dump the truck. So they combined these trucks right full. And we're waiting for me. And I have to go uh, to the town. It's about 20 minutes away and get that, put it together. And then I was able to unload. But those big bins we have, we don't have a ladder on them and there's no rope to open the lid so we use one of our aluminum ladders but it was so windy today and we couldn't get up there so i had to go to a small 20 uh 2300 bushel bin that's the only, only way we could dump so i'm kind of waiting for this this wind to die down it's, it's kind of died down a little bit nice sunset Always nice sunsets here. I guess that's why they call it Sunset House. So yeah. So they have to come and help me move and everything, so... Yeah, that's pretty full. So now we gotta fill up Kenworth. Uh, that truck and this truck is damn near 3,000 bushels. So. This will be our second batch today of trucks. Sure is purpley over there and blue. Should have just dumped straight in the back or. I was going to do a live stream, but I forgot my video just premiered at 5, so I had that sucker ready for a couple days. 
Hopefully that wind is not bothering the sound too much. Well, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this truck back up to the mid. I'm gonna walk and see the wobble box buggered up on our John Deere 21 foot swatter. We were swatting some barley yesterday. And uh, I have the 18 foot swatter here. So that wobble box is good on there. So I'm gonna get out of the cold. Yeah. Here we are parked for the day. <laughs> These are our neighbors. No, it's not Mike Mitchell. Right, Sean? <laughs> no, they did make a pass over there. Yeah. It must not be ready yet. I remember it was this canola was pretty green yet when they sprayed it. And I also did hear they used a plane to spray some of it. But I don't think they moved those combines since yesterday. That's where our field is, way over there. Yeah, it looks like they try to pass right here. I think the I think the canola is dry. It's just got too many greens in it. I guess that's one benefit to swathing. It would have been dry a long time ago, or ready a long time ago. That's that 50 foot header. So we're just uh, putting the auger in our last tall bin here, our 6,000. We've got no ladders mounted to these ones, but it's a bitch. It's a bitch to get up from, especially when it's windy. Put the ladder in the back of the truck. We have ladders too, we just haven't put them on yet. Remember when it gets full, the weight pushes it down. Good. Okay. There are two big bins here, two six thousands. There are eight rings and they have a bin booster floor. They're 19 feet round. So that one's a 3,000. And what I'd like to do is put a hopper on that one. And this is a 3,000. I'd like to put a hopper on this one because those goddamn gophers, groundhogs or whatever they are around here, kick the shit out of that floor. And those are two 4,000 bins. The floors are fine in those. Those are all my spares. Those are all full of oats right now. So I'm just about at capacity. 50,000 bushels. 
So we're on the home stretch now. Probably about 10 small acres here. The most. That's good. That's good. The wind has been insane here in the last few days. You probably can't hear a word I'm saying. The canola swats are even know where they are. We'll be off the truck. Those guys are almost done. And I got the 9250 or 70, sorry, fired up. And the disc is on it since spring. Uh, I have to take this whole bride. I'm going around and I am uh, disking up some of the sloughs in that. So, yeah. That's what I'm going to do right now. If anyone's interested. Well, for almost two inches of rain, you can't tell anymore. That's how it soaked it right up. This land here, I could use two inches of rain every week and a half. So fast it dries up here. Especially with these big winds we get, they just dry everything out. That was a pretty sharp turn. I didn't get really close with the air seeker, so I just want to disc this grass over. Heavy hero, this this whole place. But I see I disc out that slew there. Oh, there's a slew I got to disc out over here. Good, good. 
last year. This bush always fills up with water and then drains over that way. Depends on where the spring is. On the south part. All done. And I got this all this out. This is probably the best I've ever had it worked out. I've had this place. Always because I've never had a disc here at the moment for the fall. Gonna give her one little pass here alongside the bush. A little bit of quack grass here. Right here. I probably couldn't get that close when I was spraying it. So. Flew over there. Where else? Somewhere else. Oh, oh, I got one back that way yet. So. Just 
just doing a clean out. We are done. Heading home now. Canola to do.